All right, guys, this is game number one of Grand Finals of the first Law of Smash Weekly. It's going to be Cosmos Inkling versus Tweak. Krom, interesting choice coming out from Tweak. Tweak is from winners. We have Cosmos coming from losers. He lost to Tweak, I believe, 3-1 against the Krom. But here we go. Right, and it looks like they're starting off on Pokemon a stage that we've been seeing Cosmos win on a lot throughout the tournament. And this is really interesting to see that Tweak is deciding to play Krom. But one thing that Tweak has said was because people say Krom's recovery is kind of questionable. People, uh, Tweak said, well, honestly, I'm used to playing characters with bad recovery anyway, like uh, Cloud, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> so it's not a big deal. But right now, Cosmos trying really hard to get this edge guard. Gonna be hard to punish that up B at times. Ooh, and he saw that ink roller coming. Might just see another one coming out pretty soon. Well, Cosmos having a fantastic start so far. However, this is Krom we're talking about. But that down tilt, that's going to be a KO. Fantastic. Only 65% on Cosmos. Ooh, okay. Queen Sorry, did get that back here, but wasn't able to usually get the grab attack that he's able to get. However... You have to be very careful. Again, this is Krom we're talking about. He doesn't have that um, weak spot that Roy has. He's also able to hit with his F smash above him because I don't know what Nintendo was thinking when they made that F smash. I guess that up air. One thing about the up air, it's really good for juggling, but it's not really a kill option. So it's good to catch him in the air and like start something up. And usually you want people to be above Krom, so it doesn't matter. And dash attack. Ken KO, however, only 170%. Let's see how it recovers. Very careful. Oh, oh! Oh my gosh. Wow, Tweak looking for all these KO options right now. Actually, he might just be trying to get Cosmos off the stage. And up throw and see. Up air, not gonna KO. But another up air, and that's actually KO. Right now, we currently have Cosmos three stocks looking really good against Tweak. Definitely a different type of set for the beginning. Ooh. Ooh, that delayed second that delayed second backer. Fantastic. Up air again. Once again, it's gonna be harder to KO, but that was really close to the top blast zone. Good stuff and high percent. So tweak an entire stock behind, however. This is Grom. Let's see what he can do. That tech's not gonna matter. Fantastic. Oh my gosh. This character's smooth. I know a lot of people say this character, like. Not that it's brain dead, but like a little easier to play. However, this character looks beautiful. If that he got that KO, that would have been so much for him. Maybe if he could get a KO pretty soon. But that would have been clean because that whole stock, he took barely any damage. You're a squid now? You're a kid now. Good to know. How's it going, Nuno? Oh, okay, okay. First hit of jab to looking for the F tilt, but even though the air dodge came out, still able to get that? Oh. It's always beautiful to see people air dodge downwards into grabbing the ledge. Oh. Okay, clean. Uh oh, jab's the wrong way. That might be a start of a combo, but Tweak wasn't able to capitalize. There it goes. The up air strings are beginning. Platforms work out really good for Krom if you're standing on it. Tweak is looking for some crazy combo to begin. Here it is. Oh my god! Oh my oh, god! I can't believe that. Oh my god! I can't believe that. Jesus. 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 Anything can change. Anything can change. What the f? <laughs> I'm so awesome. Oh, wow. Yo, what was that? <laughs> I was like, yo, did you do that on purpose? Oh, Were you trying you to spike him? Free? Just yeah. Yeah. don't say wins. anything. That's a, yeah, they always. Cloud and Crown both always. I wasn't prepared for that. Oh my god, he's a, he's a squid, he's a kid, and he's dead. Right, but we're likely going to see the same characters come back out for game number two. Good stuff to tweak for winning game number one. Let's see what happens. <laughs> my goodness. Alright, here we go. Cosmos having a good start again. Interesting stage choice. This actually feels like it's cheating because there's like ink all over the ground and you're an ink character. <laughs> what the heck? That was a crazy combo. I'm still like 
blown away from that. <laughs> I was like, what's he going for, man? That's cool up B. Alright, looking for these backers. I like that neutral out of shield. That one's still looking amazing with the spacing right now. Oh my. Okay, looking for that roller already. I don't think it would KO at this percent potentially. Well, the K the roller does do damage, so there's a chance it could have brought him up to like 90 something to then get that up smash. And um, honestly, Tweak doesn't like to mash too much again. That's SD. Unfortunate. Problem falls very fast, especially if you fast fall. And if you have your back turn and you up you cannot actually grab the ledge. You have to do just like I could smash for. So again, we do have home field advantage. You think the Inklings just live in a bunch of like dirty, dirty ass pain? <laughs> All right. Tweak's always going for it. He's going for the up air, but the back hit of the up air, because the back part of the up air seems to scoop people up better. And it's the end of the up air, so you're able to follow up after. So that's why a lot of times when you see Tweak play with, oh my god, with Prom, he'll do the back part hit of it. He'll like turn around and up air you. Ooh. Okay, jab attack, please. Oh, I like how he went for that. He knew that Tweak was going for the ledge in that angle. He almost got the edge guard. Okay, that back air. Almost gets KO. I actually thought that was one. Let's see, the F tilt. Always looking for that F tilt. Okay. Back here. Down tilt. Let's see if he can get the ink bomb. Cancel. Beautiful. Beautiful coming out from Cosmos. So if you guys remember, this is actually extremely similar to the first game. <laughs> where it's three stocks to one and somehow Tweak was able to bring it back. Let's see if he can do it again. And Tweak not only brought it back, but he won. That's the crazy part about it. Ooh, okay, nice up there. All right, that dash attack coming out, and nice stuff by Tweak actually getting a KO, missing a grab twice. Inkling, kind of a hard character to grab, especially when uh, she's running or dashing. It goes really low, so sometimes some people's grabs actually miss. And the up airs, and the up airs, and the uh, up airs. There we go, almost one more. Ooh, I like that delayed dash attack he did. He like ran into him a little bit before doing a dash attack, hoping that Kazos might just drop his shield or it might have been an input error. Looking for that jab attack to start a combo. Oh, clean, clean. Clean. Let's see. I like that. Patience and trying to get the follow up. And Sweet bringing this back hard again, like last time. Oh my god, and there's a jab attack or the, sorry, the short hop neutral air into F smash that hit in the air. Not only did it hit above Krom, but it hit in front too. It hit in front above, like that angle. Oh, he did. He went for that dash attack a little too late, and the combos begin. That back air, almost double back air. All right, always going for that down. So just in case Krom decides to second jump off the ledge, and this might be it. Ooh, that was interesting. Yeah, he actually got the tech on that, but it didn't seem to matter. So now it's 1-1 one, one Tweak versus Cosmos. GameCube controller, Switch controllers. Uh, me and Sylvanas, Kitaro and Sylvanas play with Switch controllers. And we have Tweak and Cosmos who play with GameCube. Most people play with GameCube, actually. But I think the Switch Pro controller is better. Um, people just don't really want to try it. And unsyncing it is really annoying. So I actually tried to move back to GameCube controller, but I couldn't do it because it hurts my hands. It feels like crap compared to Switch Pro. So don't play Switch Pro because if you play it too long, you're going to like it better, in my opinion. Like, I, I really think you will. Then GameCube, and you'll, it'll be hard to go back. Because me and Sabanis tried to go back, cannot go back. Someone link the game one kill from <laughs> finals yeah that was a crazy kill man crazy kill but here we go guys on to game number three of grand finals cosmos again coming from losers let's see what he can do to bring it back if again 
All right, and it looks like we're going to town and city. So I know in Smash 4 I had a little bit of a lower ceiling, and we had some of these platforms that are really high, so it's easy to get KOs off the top. We'll see what they could do here. And remember, this is the counterfeit coming out from Sweet. Ooh, the neutral in the beginning. So fun fact, Inklings can't actually do the... I don't know if it's down throw or down throw into um, neutral air combo into grab at 0%. So you'll a lot of times see Inkling do down throw into down tilt or down throw into full jab attack. Oh, clean catch, clean catch. Cosmos is the master right now at getting a very good start. He gets that fair. Can he get the edge guard? Oh my gosh. And he gets the paint and the up smash and that's going to be early KO. Cosmos again. In the beginning of these matches, doing absolutely fantastic. Tweet bringing it back every time. Oh my god! That catch of the second jump, way up high. Scary. You do not want to be above Prom. Or below. Yeah, you don't want to be above Prom. Hey! Here we go. Up th throw in top air. Back air. Alright. Nice get up attack. Back here, coming out again. Decides to reset the situation by jumping on the platform. But Cosmo still has a sizable lead. He just needs to get back on the stage, looking really hard. Again, Tweak, one of the best ledge trappers in the game. I don't know if you guys are noticing, but when Tweak puts people off the stage or on the ledge, they just have so much trouble making it back. It's it's ridiculously hard, and that's one of the ways he racks up some of the most damage he can get. I never experienced anything like that. Ooh! Yo, his recovery right now, Prom. That up B up high, not getting punished. Clean? Clean? No. I got scared of that possible up B again. Oh my gosh, not letting Inkling land. Inkling's having trouble getting on the ground. Again, you do not want to be. Oh, that's death. That clean down tilt catch. That down tilt, I believe, is uh, two hits. So, has two chances to be able to catch you to push you off. Okay, up throw. Up air, it's gonna combo, not gonna be able to do too much, but at least can put Prom in the not best position. Here we go again. And I love that Tweak is using his second jump to get out of there. However, remember we got Cosmos on the ledge. Be back here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! That was a clean catch. It looked like he tried to jab attack, run reverse back air to get the potential KO. He messed up the run reverse back here, but was so oh my no way, no way. What? 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 I don't know why we both died. Yo, yo, that might be the first. Uh, what yo, happened? Yo, I ain't the to. Yo, I'm not the to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> One stock, two minutes. I want it. I want it. I want it. We're at the higher percent. Hurry up. No, I think it's you beat me in tournament. This is the worst. Please, you do. How that Wait, so uh, what happens? I don't know what <laughs> What? It should be one stock two minute. Is that the rule? That's how it was in Smash 4. One stock two minute? Yeah. Okay, okay, one stock two minute. Um, you can just play both stock You could do that, so yeah. You Alright, yeah, just kill yourself and then... Wow. That might be the next time I play it. Wow. Yeah, one oh, you're stock. Gonna We're just gonna play one stock. Oh, okay. Yo, what the? Well, what what is this game, that. man? I never seen that either. All right, so they're gonna do one stock left. He did like a crazy combo into up B, and they both died at the same time. They both died at the same time. All right, so they're doing a one stock match, guys. He tried to do it, or it seems like might have tried to do it again, but. The platform was in the way. And Cosmo kind of DI'd him. <laughs> Alright, and it looks like Cosmos wins the game. Oh, man. I'm 
to kill someone. Oh. Kill me! Alright, here we go. So Cosmos is currently up 2 1 in Grand Finals. This is his first set of Grand Finals. Tweak scares me with that crime. It scares me too. That's never happened. That upbeat? Alright, here's game number 4. It's 2 1 in favor of Cosmos. What's gonna happen? We'll find out. Going back to town and city. Let's see it. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're switching combos, man. You combo me, now I combo you. Into up it. Ooh, into neutral air. Actually, I like that. He actually tried to put on some more damage knowing the upper won't kill. Fourth throw off, good positioning, the fight against Krom, down tilt, able to hit. Krom might be dead, no, Krom makes it back. Because of that aerial drift. Oh, clean again, trying to get that back hit of the up smash. Fourth throw. Ooh, interesting, but he charged a little too long and got punished. One thing I like about this one, um, this time is that Tweak actually isn't that far behind compared to like the first three games. He was like losing by a lot and then brought it back to be able to make it. Pretty much those are like even games. All those games are even in the end. What the heck? Stock them. Wait, wait. Oh. Almost gets grabbed. Almost. Wow, that was actually up there into up smash. Did we get that confirmed? He's put on a bit more damage before he could try to go for the KO. Yeah, Tweet still has a Wario, but um, decided to go Krom. Was able to take the first set with Krom. Oh wow, was actually able to make it back, and Inkling not able to make it back this time. So get another scary situation, especially since Krom does have a potential... I don't even know if it's like a zero to death, What I don't know what that is. He went for it twice, was able to get it to KO Inkling once. Second time was a double KO. Let's see, neutral air punish. Here we go. However, Cosmos actually went the wrong direction. That's gonna set him pretty far out, so he might have to upbeat recovery. Oh my gosh! That back throw can usually KO, but that wasn't right at the ledge. Oh wow, very interesting. And that down is gonna get the KO. I can't do this. So Cosmos is able to take the first set of Grand Finals 3-1. See what Tweak's gonna do. What's up? Oh. All right, so they're gonna start the second set. So now Tweak is also in losers technically. Second set will be started off on PS2. Reset the score. Let's see what happens. Alright, let's start off PS2, let's go. Grand final set number two. Let me put that in the title. They both took sets off of each other in this tournament. Crazy final so far.
Their neutral was pretty crazy in the beginning. A lot of like dashing back and forth, throwing out safe aerials. And wow, <laughs> that was like a nearly 50% combo coming out from Cosmos. Cosmos catching his landing, but we have Tweak taking him off stage. Again, the problem is a little rough to actually go off the stage and try to uh, edge guard because he could waste a lot trying to do that and then have trouble recovering himself. That roller comes out, wow, Prom is in the air, that F tilt so strong near the ledge. Uh, for one of the first times, Tweak actually has a lead in the beginning, so strong start of Grand Final 7-2. Down tilt caught him, should be able to recover, oh fantastic choice, doing it pretty high, might be able to roll out, hmm, no. And he's continuously catching up that neutral air, when you do air dodge like that you have like a lot of invincibility or like the part where you can't get hit but if you do it from far away there's like a little bit of time where you can still get hit and that's where you call him clean up there's try to like reset the combo doing the back there to push him over to the other side instead of doing another up air Oh, that was very nice. Cosmos, the king of doing that, even from back in Smash 4. And how did he catch him with that? Oh my god! What is Krom? Oh my god! <laughs> All those times, Krom looks super dead. Now, Inkling having trouble landing. Good stuff to sign that air dodge directionally into the platform, taking away a lot of the lag. And somehow he got caught right when he landed. So, good catch from Cosmos. Alright, up into back air. Ooh. That was scary. That was a lot of lag after that. That back air very strong. You should be able to get KOs when they're at higher percents or near the ledge, like right here. Wow, the pivot needs a jab. Very nice, and that was like a runaway turn around F tilt for the KO. Ooh, it looked like a missed input potentially coming out from Cosmos. Gonna punish with the side B. Always interesting to see that the Inklings can actually do an aerial into jab attack. Okay, problem bringing the brat back. Doing one of the things you want to do very against Inkling, try to keep them in the air. Nice, nice, into the combo. Oh, he's off stage. Oh my gosh, that was such a t quick turnaround jab attack. It would look like Tweak may have meant to turn around and grab, actually. Very nice. Side in the up B. He wasn't, do uh, early. he wasn't doing that too much in the last set, but now it's been working out really well for him. Oh my gosh. This one's a nail biter. <laughs> and that's going to be a KO coming out from that forward air. So Cosmos is currently up to a 1-0 in Grand Final Set 2. Yeah, it is pretty close. Cosmos decides to ban Yoshi's and looks like you're going back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Wonder if we'll see a character change. Oh, he's gonna stick with Krom. He says, I like going for underdogs. Hmm, this shit, this is close. Very true. Oh my god, the combo started like while Go was still on the screen. No tech into brought back in the air with forward air. Punish? Here it goes. Uh oh, scary right there. 
just able to run and get the grab. Misses the follow up. However, not bad. No, this is that grab. 98%, however, on Inkling. It's always interesting to see uh, Tweak's Chrom, because a lot of other Chroms like to just go for like random or space F smash. However, Tweak goes for the less laggy moves, so you'll a lot of times see him go for F tilt or go for the short hop back airs like that. But as you guys may or may not know, when you short hop do an aerial, it actually does less knockback, I believe. It's either less knockback and damage or less damage than a full hop area. Yep. Yep. Hack learned something new today. And let's see if he can cover. No, I'm not going to be able to cover with that one. However, the not so bad thing about going for that up so far off the stage is that you, especially if you're like winning, stock ahead, you might just catch Inkling like or your opponent coming out and you and you could possibly up B and K them even at zero as you saw him almost do to tweak earlier today. Almost a jab lock coming out there. It looked like he went for the jab lock too. Clean. Ooh, went for that da jab dash attack if you trying to push him off stage. There you go. <laughs> Even though he missed that fair, he was still able to get that backer to push him back into the air. Oh my gosh. Looks like Kazus is having a lot of trouble punishing that early upbeat, but the Ooh, that's shocking. Looks like he fast fell too early. Alright, you guys still would have been commentating right next to you. Not bad. Oh, it's just a feeling? Oh, I see it. Alright, clean up there. Back throw has him off the stage early. Early air dodge. It's gonna be tough to recover. This is not fair. Fair, we're in the same same situation. No, it's not fair to us. Alright, Cosmos is currently up 2-0 in Grand Final Set 2. See if there's gonna be a potential change of character. Alright, this is gonna be interesting. Tweak decides to go DK. Fall down 0-2. I want to see what happens here because I do have a set that's online and it's very similar. Where uh, he was down 0-2 with Prom and then he went DK and won the next three. See if it's possible to do that. I'd actually love to see that DP smash in this video. So it's interesting uh, to see actually Sweet decide to go Krom a lot. Uh, I know Krom is really good and maybe it got better recently because I haven't been seeing him play. But um, a lot of people in the house have been saying that they feel like his DK could be his best character right now. Right now his DK is definitely going in, having a much better start than the it's most of the Krom matches that we've seen. However, this is DK. Oh, he gets off the ledge. Is he at kill percent? Yes, he is, at least near the ledge. Ooh, somehow missed that grab after he's able to get that whiff punish. Up there, back here. Ooh, missed the second back in that fast fall in the play. So you're able to punish hard double up there. If you guys, whether you guys may or may not be able to notice, but DK is very, a lot more versatile in this game. Like, the way he plays is just, it's beautiful compared to uh, Smash 4 where it's like kind of just stand there. DK is like, DK is moving like Krom, but he's like big. <laughs> For the kill already. Nice. A little punish with those up tilts after whipping the punish. And this might be a death. Run off and boom! Oh my god. 
got it. <laughs> that throw. That throw. Okay, he saw where he's landing. Ooh, doing that prom recovery but with DK. Almost gets hits him with that uh, roller. This is gonna be a lot of damage just for one missed roller. Ooh, okay. And Cosmo's doing really good at catching him at where he's landing to get that F smash. Alright, and DK is a heavy, so. Oh my god. So it's easier to hit him when he's in the air for juggles. Ooh. Scary. He almost actually has him at that throw percent where he could just simply get the grab and just chuck him off the stage. And he's charging the punch just in case. Let's see what he can do with that. Uh oh. So I guess watch out where he lands. He's looking for that grab already. Oh my gosh, just double up to it. Thank you, Spanker. Spankers. We can talk about it. I'm fine with this one for now. I don't mind it. Alright, so it's now 2-1 in favor of Cosmos. Tweak decided to go DK. is bringing it back pretty hard. Most likely you gotta stick with the DK, I'm assuming, regardless of the stage choice. So here's game number four. Let's see what happens. going to Yoshi's Island Brawl. It's good to see a lot of the melee stages and brawl stages come back. These are like competitive melee and brawl stages. This one brawl specifically. And be able to see them return and in the competitive environment where more people are watching these tournaments now. Loki felt like anything was looking for that roller, but no roller coming out. Oh my gosh. And again, Cosmos going for that like F smash. Somehow that hit away. I think maybe he might have jumped or something, yeah. Alright, gonna be hard to recover. Again, Inkling has some of the best uh, tools to actually stop people from recovering. Falls pretty fast, could just throw out a forward air that could KO, a back air that could KO. That might have been a down throw from the cargo throw. Let's see this one. <laughs> Those throws look painful. Oh my goodness gracious. That up tilt is so good at just like, okay, I didn't get this hit. I'll just do this one now. Oh, you're dead. See that there were the tilts coming out from DK, then he like run away, pivots, and does something because he knows that Cosmos is like in his hole. Oh, he almost gets that down here, but gets up here again. Gonna be hard to land, chuck him off the stage, not able to KO with the throw just yet. That was interesting. No second jump with the up B. Just a very low up B recovery. Up throw into up there. Not able to confirm. But the running up smash. Again, Cosmos really good at getting that up smash or any smash attack they hit. All right, we're doing. <laughs> Alright, interesting. Um, got the KO and now it's looking even, but again, this is Tweak's tournament life on the line right now. Grab again. It's rough getting these, or fighting against DK when he gets these grabs. It's a lot of damage. Oh my gosh! Up tilt, not gonna KO just yet. He has to be, still be a little careful, making sure to stay like towards the center of the stage because if he gets knocked off by um, Inklings, you never know what's going to happen. Alright, up tilt again. Let's watch the landing. Decide to air. 
Air dodge that was really good. And his forward throw. Ooh, my gosh. That was the <laughs> pick him up, run, <laughs> turn around, back throw. Very nice coming out from Sweet. So now it's currently 2 2, grand finals, set number two. Uh, really interesting. I'll update the bracket right now for you guys, just in case you're wondering. Because Cosmos won the first set 3 1 against the Crom. Let me put that in. Back 2 0. No, 3 0. Alright, well, here we go. This is the final game of the tournament. Let's see what happens, guys. <laughs> well, indeed. Well, indeed. Oh my, what? <laughs> Such a beautifully spaced fair, too. That move takes forever to come out. And you see that pivot grab? That pivot grab play? And the double up air coming out. Again, a huge difference at the moment coming out from uh, Tweet going DK now instead of uh, Krom. He's actually getting to win at least in the beginning. Ooh, and again, that's Cosmos catching the landing of where DK lands. See, combos. Again, combos are easy to do on these heavier characters. As you can see, three up airs in a row, almost making the percent even. Oh, and? Ooh, but he was a little too far away to be able to get that. You saw how he be, uh, just kind of ran up a little bit to try to get that up smash to connect better. But he got the... Ooh, that's a side beat? No, no, down beat to hit, but it was too far away. Like, he got the hit, but he couldn't get a follow-up after. Ooh, grabbed the ledge twice, but able to roll back on really fast not to get punished. Into up air, not gonna KO yet. That was pretty close to KOing. Um, damn, and again, he just throws out an aerial and able to get that up tilt. Cosmos currently on his last stock. Alright, doing that invulnerable back air, but still able to get hit. That's a weird one because with that DK punch, it's hard to figure out like what's the best punish. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's trying to end it. Ooh, double down there too. A lot of rage on DK too. See, Cosmos gets the ink roller and able to get the KO. Let's see if Cosmos can bring it back. It's only 100%. All right, up there. Trying to reset the combo. Ooh, makes a mistake. Okay. He's bringing it back. But that grab, forward throw. Not going to KO yet. Ooh. Let's watch out for these grabs now. And that back air. Going to get the KO. And Tweak wins grand final set number two. And wins Lost Smash weekly number one. A true competitor can play in any situation. Except me. <laughs> I, that was incredible. That was, right, that was, very, that was, a, that was, that was very nice. That was very nice. Games. Those are very good games, yeah. Dude, I just never played a tournament in a house. In a house. <laughs> It's uh, it's no, definitely that's different. That's really yeah. Weird. No, like I'm, I'm not saying that Cosmos is at an advantage on the high. Yeah. It was, it was fucking pissing me off, especially well, when you're losing. Yeah, I can imagine it being like more so when you're losing. When like when you're losing, it makes you notice like things more and like. <laughs> yeah, you get tilted. Yeah, like, exactly. Human being. Yeah, I I can I can understand that part. So I'm not like. Mad at anyone. Yeah, yeah. Usually, if that happens to me, I just kind of just stay quiet. Cause. I'm mad at yeah, I can tell. It's okay. It's okay. Um, Tweak still um, was able to clutch it out, deciding to go DK, DK crazy character. I still think it's his best character, so I hope he decides to go more DK in the future. No, my phone too! Um, oh, incredible. Way, no. Inkling's so back air is not intangible. Huh? It's not intangible. Which one? Inkling's back air. Wait, it's not? No. It just lingers for a long time. Yeah, and it just has like a hitbox that like dips. So you can hit the back air? It just always usually wins because it has a really good range and it's like a very... Like, but you can, but you can hit it, it. It might be disjointed, but it might not be intangible. I, I don't oh, think okay. So. Okay. Intangible is like 
DK's tilts. Like, you can't hit the arms and shit in the legs. Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, thank you guys for that one. Yeah, you fucking. You look at English. Like <laughs> information. Um, I, I kind of barely was speaking because it felt a little weird. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so my yeah. side. You did good. Just <laughs> so it looks like she was. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you.